We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for the Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. Woo! Woo! Time for the Ryan Report, but... Being brought to you by McDonald's. Hey, start your day with two sausage eggs and cheese McGriddles, or only uh, a medium drink for three dollars of your choice. I participate in McDonald's. I'm loving it. Okay, the more K Michelle talks, yes, the more we learn. Yes, when we interviewed K Michelle, she mm-hmm. told us about her, uh, you know, ability to go to both sides of the fence. Yes, a lot of people did. were surprised by that. Yeah, she did. Now she told us first an emotional moment. Uh, on the radio with uh, Russ Parr. Mm-hmm. Apparently, um, she dated Idris Elba for eight months. I know. Ladies, did y'all hear that? She didn't even tell us anyone. It was like Idris, a hush-hush thing. Idris Elba for eight months. She was special. Uh, when they were playing her album, they played one song, mm-hmm. and she said that he sent her an email and said, it's sad that it's come to this. Mm. Then she says, Idris knows that with my music, I'm like the black Taylor Swift. I'm going to write about you, and I'm going to talk about you. He really has no choice. Hmm. In the past few weeks, I haven't spoken about it with him, and I'm sure that he's bothered. But my thing is, I feel like I protected you for so long. These are my emotions that I deserve, and I have now to protect myself and deal with my emotions. I love him and always will. Hmm. It's not a hate thing. We don't hate each other. It's a timing thing. And then... Girl, how you let that go, girl? Broke down. Girl, what girl? How you let that go? Oh, oh, girl, you know how many girls want interest? She oh. lost Ringer Bell? Yes. <laughs> so, oh, she's uh, shaking the table. Yeah. Oh, she's shaking the table. <laughs> Moving on now mm-hmm. to uh, what a lot of people are saying, wow. Oh, that is Atlanta. Right. You know, Lou Williams used to play for the Hawks. I know. He is from the A. Yup. He almost crashed the internet himself yesterday. Because of his love triangle. Mm-hmm. Uh, according to Totalsports.com, Lou Williams has a love triangle with two women. <sighs> and they both know about each other. Right. They travel together. Mm-hmm. Uh, and ladies, what? It hasn't come to this? <laughs> in one <laughs> it corner. It depends on how much money you got. In one corner, <laughs> you got Ashley Henderson. <laughs> he calls her blonde. Right. There she is. Look at picture of her. Kind. Yeah. <laughs> and they're okay with it. Yeah, that's blonde. Yes. And in the other corner, there's a, another young lady by the name of Reese Mitchell. She's known as Brown. She's cute, too. Mm-hmm. Apparently, not only do they travel together, mm-hmm. what else they, they together? know about each other, Ooh, and, and they live together. And what else? They call it a nifty lifestyle. Mm. And they enjoy, this is a quote from them, they enjoy the nifty lifestyle that he can offer them. Oh, So they're all cool with being able to deal with brown and blonde. What you think about that? Well, it is 2014. Come on. Going into the new year. Sharing a man in the same house? I'm thinking. <laughs> oh. Lou is a product of Atlanta, so Lou, oh, if you Lord. can do one, if you can do two, you might as well have three. What man would say no if his wife and his girlfriend Holy said, Holy moly, man. Baby, go pick something. He's a boss. And bring a, tell me what you like. Okay, and uh, after many, many years, mm-hmm. Coca-Cola has decided they are no longer going to sponsor American Idol. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, the average age mm-hmm. of people who watch American Idol now compared to when it started? 50 and up, right? 50! I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, baby, this, I can't wait till they show up. 50! In 2012, they spent $49 million, but just $16 million last year. Saying that after 13 years, they felt it was time for them to go into another direction. Yeah. Uh, the show's audience, one season, averaged 32 years of age. Now, it's over 50. Like, what's the last time we watched? The last time we watched was last year when we watched Bria Ane. Remember, we were supporting yeah, and Bria. Was done, we and was when done. she was done, we were done, honey. Done seeing. So now at and has gone, Ford's gone, and yeah, now Coca-Cola told you American Idol, gone. y'all should have kept Bria Ane. <laughs> we, Atlanta would have been on swole. <laughs> 
That is your ride report. Wow. Boss. They let Bria go and just lost everything. <laughs> <laughs> D103. <laughs>